What's going on guys? Welcome to Everything Always. My name's Michael Roman, aka All Fires for starters, and extremely exciting. We have a brand new and official synopsis for Spider-Man No Way Home this morning. We're of course going to read through it in full. I'm gonna break it down, annotate it where I can, and try to contextualize it with what we already know is going on in the film and Tom Holland's most recent comments about the film. Now, on top of that, and as you may have seen on social media, there were no less than five and probably more industry insiders all weighing in about this second trailer last night. Everything from arguing to how many trailers there actually are and what they reveal to when it's coming out and now we have an official update on that as well. We're gonna break down what all the industry insiders said about the possibility of three different trailers, what they show, which industry insiders weighed in, which side they're on, the one that confirmed it's not coming this week and the source that confirmed that theaters have received it. Yep, you heard all that right, we're breaking it down. But first, if you could grab the subscribe button, we're still giving away a PlayStation 5 still at 900,000 subscribers, which we are so, so ever close to. So if you want to be entered to win, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment down below that will automatically enter you to win the PlayStation, the other giveaways here at the channel, and stick around to the end of the video. We'll get into all the giveaway stuff again there. So first up, the official synopsis for Spider-Man No Way Home as listed on Cinemark's official website. Again, this is a Brazilian website that posted this with no reference to a trailer in case you were wondering. This is what the synopsis reads. Quote, for the first time in Spider-Man's cinematic history, our friendly neighborhood Spider-Man is unmasked and can no longer keep his ordinary life separated from the challenges that go with being a superhero. After asking Doctor Strange's help, the risks become even more dangerous and force him to discover what it means to be Spider-Man. Now, reading that out loud for the very first time sort of gave me pause because in my experience with the Spider-Man character and all the stories I've read, Peter's become unmasked more than once and always found a way to figure it out. But in this instance, it's the first time that his superhero has actually become celebrity. Funnily enough though, the Marvel Cinematic Universe has addressed this in indirectly multiple times throughout the Infinity Saga, and even though most of the Avengers have enjoyed celebrity status, well, except for Ant-Man, you have to think about some of them that have been on both sides of the sword. Firstly, someone like Hulk, who was hated so much by everybody and hated seeing how much everybody hated him, he literally left the planet, fast forward to Avengers Endgame, and people are asking him to take pictures. Again. No love for Ant-Man. You also think about someone like Captain America, who was a national treasure, who eventually became a fugitive of the law. So depending on where you're at in your career as a superhero, public love and public affection may be on either side. The problem is, is that Peter Parker is a child and really in the middle of it, getting his identity revealed at the same time that he's being accused of murder and international terrorism. It is a terrible, terrible time to be Peter Parker and the fact that he's a kid, he doesn't have enough sort of depth and sort of perspective to deal with this. This is when he really, really, really needs Iron Man's help, really needs a mentor. And unfortunately, since I think the running consensus is that Doctor Strange is most certainly not Doctor Strange, the mentor that he would normally be turning to has nefarious intentions with his vulnerability in the first place, truly leaving him alone. Now, before we switch over to the trailer updates, one last thing I'll say, the benchmark of any good Peter Parker story is of course him dealing with loss amidst all of this. And even though we didn't see the loss of Uncle Ben, we did see the loss of Tony Stark and how that affected Peter Parker going into Far From Home. There have been plenty of rumors about almost every single character close to Spider-Man in this film perhaps passing away, including even Happy Hogan. And I would say that that's par for the course with Spider-Man, given all the quotes Tom Holland gave us recently about the film not being fun and being quote brutal listening to this synopsis it seems as though they're forewarning there are not fun times ahead on the horizon for Spider-Man No Way Home. Now in case you weren't sitting on social media last night watching all of the industry insiders get into a Twitter fight I watched this unfold in real time industry insiders tweeting out one thing other guys tweeting out other things in replies, then different industry insiders coming into the rescue and weighing in and corroborating what they were saying. Let's start with Grace Randolph. She actually tweeted out something along the lines of the film, them under crunch time to try to get the VFX done with the film. And it's what's ending up to the delay of the trailer, which led another industry insider, at least self-proclaimed one, uh, to exclaim that there were actually three versions of the trailer. Two have the reveals of all the villains, and the third one does as well, but the third one has the shot that reveals Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield, and really the reason they're pushing him back is this decision on which one to go to. Now, viewer Anon, a source that I have covered many times here at the channel and has a absolutely impeccable track record, 
came out and actually defended Grace Randolph and said, based on everything he's heard and talking to her and exchanging their sources and information, he actually believes that they might be under a crunch to get these VFX done, and that may have something to do with the trailer, but there are also other multiple industry insiders who corroborated the other claim. There are multiple trailers, there are three to be exact, all three of them have the full gambit of villain reveals, The that's the whole kind of point of the trailer, but only one of them has all three Spider-Men in it, and the studios are trying to decide which is which. We reported on less than two weeks ago that there was sort of an internal battle. You can guess which side Marvel Studios and Kevin Feige on were wanting to keep those Spider-Men out of the trailer. And then there was Sony who, well, you know, Sony went ahead and put Adrian Toomes Vulture in the very first Morbius trailer uh, years before any of this was revealed because that's, that's about how much they're willing to wait. Now, if this wasn't enough industry insiders weighing in on the trailer, we actually also had Daniel Richtman, Daniel RPK coming out and saying that no matter what you hear, the trailer's not coming this week. He's the guy we covered the most and over the last two years has not missed a trailer release. For the record, when he says it's coming, it's coming. If he says it isn't, it isn't. He says it's not coming this week. Only to wake up this morning and see multiple people who quote unquote work at movie theaters across the country and world showing that the Spider-Man No Way Home trailer has somehow been uploaded, which would definitely not do much to support the fact that it's being pushed back. So basically, every industry insider source got in in some way weighing in on the trailer last night or in the last 12 hours. And then to have the official synopsis hit the internet this morning on a site sort of makes it feel like it's right around the corner. Remember, Disney Plus Day is literally less than 48 hours away. I have to think that following week is, is, a, is really looking good now. We're really 16, 17, 18. Uh, but on a side note, I have to remind you guys, we seem to think because of the kind of fandom that we hold, you guys are watching channels like mine, especially the YouTube culture, but also that sort of bled into social media, the scoop culture, the leak culture. This is only for a very small percentage of the fandom. I have plenty of friends who I would consider diehard Marvel fans. They watch every movie in the theaters. I mean, that they, they haven't skipped one. They know the storylines, but they don't have any idea what's going on with any of this. So when you say, oh, it's not a big deal to throw Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield in the first trailer, it is. It's a huge deal because there is a huge percentage, given all the leaks that have already happened, who are not on YouTube who do not spend time on social media, who love these films and will go see them, but their lives revolve around so many other things, they don't have time for this, they haven't even heard it yet. So if Marvel and Kevin Feige can get their way and keep Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield out of the first trailer, even though it's quote unquote, the worst kept secret in Hollywood, you gotta remember guys, a majority of the fandom, a majority of the population are not spending their time on YouTube channels like mine and in this sort of whole culture, they don't know. If they can keep them out of the trailer, it will be a major surprise, a major shocker. It will bring the sort of value to the viewing experience and the surprise that I think a lot of us are hoping for. My whole point, and I did a total 180 on this, because for the whole year I was like, you better put him in the trailer. It's already leaked out everywhere. Put him in the trailer. We made it this far. Because we are so close to the film, literally less than a month away, just hold him out. He didn't show us anything up until now. In fact, that poster, there are better fan-made posters all over the internet. So just hold him out now. I mean, shoot, if you don't even want to give us another trailer at this point, oh man, I better not say that. You guys will lose your minds. But let me know what you think, as always, down below. Peter Parker. Is, is somebody around him going to die? And if so, who do you think it's going to be? Also, what do you think is going on with this trailer? How many are there? And who do you think is going to win? Will we see the money shot, the live action Spider-Man in the trailer? I am all ears. Let me know in the comments quickly. Let's jump into the giveaway stuff before I let you go. Still giving away a PlayStation 5 now at 900,000 subscribers. Guys, we are so close. All you have to do to be entered to win, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment down below. That automatically enters you to win all the other prizes. Like, we're going to give away some tickets this weekend for Eternals. And then once Hawkeye goes live in a couple of weeks, we'll resume the weekly Disney Plus subscriptions. Hit the subscribe button, leave a comment down below because it's truly random. The more videos you comment on, the better chance you have of winning. The best way to keep up with the content has always been to hit the notification bell with all notifications turned on. And as always, if you liked today's video, I'd appreciate it if you'd hit the like button. My name is Michael Roman. You can find me over on Twitter and Instagram at IamFires. You can also find me on Spotify, YouTube, Amazon, Apple, iTunes, wherever you listen to original music under the name All Fires. And I'd sincerely appreciate you checking that out. My name is Michael Roman. Thanks for checking out everything always though. Stick around. We'll be posting again real, real soon.